Hi, and welcome to episode 30 of The Whole Story. I'm joined by Pierre Paul, who is here to show us the new DCNA functionality. Hello, what a treat, what a treat. Um, okay, applications and works. And I want to um, assess this permit here that I've conveniently prepared earlier. Uh, we, we could have started this video a touch later in the process, to be honest, but let's just start with grant with duration challenge. So um, they've applied for the 4th to the 11th, and I'm going to say rather than the 11th, take the 7th, OK? Uh, and I'm just going to get through that, submit decision. There you go. So that's been submitted. So I'm going to log in now, Charlotte, as a promoter. So uh, where would I find these duration challenges then? Because I know some that was something that you were working on. Oh, rude to go back to that, Charlotte, our little weakness. But we've cracked <laughs> that now. So um, you see this here, view and manage duration challenges. Yep. I'm glad you mentioned it because Boom, this is the page where we view and manage our duration challenges. So you see here on this tab, I've got my um, immediate works. And on this tab, I've got my change requests. So maybe in a dream world, we would have had one big um, tab, but there's sort of boring technical performance reasons why we can't do that. So. Here is uh, the most recent duration challenge that I've received as a promoter. So I'm going to go into this uh, reference. Um, and down the bottom here, I've got review duration challenge, new reasonable period end date. So I, I can just say here duration challenge accepted submit response. And that's kind of the end of it. So. We won't look at that in that in this video. It's not the most uh, exciting thing. Duration challenge not accepted. Reason for non acceptance. We really need this time. Submit response. So there you go. I have submitted my non acceptance to the highway authority. So I'm going to go back out now and go back into the um, the highway authority uh, account. And, and if you've been on a webinar with us, you might remember before where this was where it got a bit sticky because we didn't have this list of duration challenges. So now we do. So now as a highway authority, I can see things that have been. Um, uh, know promoted response not accepted so show me the not accepted ones boom there we go uh, so I'm going to have a look at this one uh, and what are my options okay so they have um, told me we really need this time would have been helpful if they would have said what they were after but I've now got two options. Change reasonable period end date. Yes. Change reasonable period end date. No. So no is the more boring option. Reason for not changing reasonable period end date. You know, not happy with with what you wrote or uh, still don't accept it or, you know, whatever it might be. Change reasonable period end date. That is more interesting. So um, you can see here range of dates available. So we've got the 7th, which is what I challenged it back to as the uh, highway authority or the 11th, which is the date that was being asked for in the first instance. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll split the difference and we'll go for the 8th. Uh, you can have until the eighth but not the eleventh submit response so there we go 
uh, that has gone now. I can see what I said. I can see what they said. Um, let's just have a look as the um, the planner at what that looks like on the promoter's end. So here we go. So you see now I've got two choices. They've given me that eighth date. Neither of these um, change anything, as it were. You know what I mean? Like it's more for recording purposes. So I can either say accepted. Yes, I accept that you've given me until the 8th or not accepted. Works will continue to granted permit end date. So we chose those words quite carefully, you know. Um, you're saying we've got a granted permit until the 11th. Don't forget, that's our permit end date. Uh, so reason for non-acceptance. We really, really need this time. Uh, forgive me, Charlotte, for these slightly flippant um, reasons. Uh, I can't come up under pressure with uh, realistic examples. Um, submit response. So, so there we go, really. That's the end of it. We've gone through a, um, uh, a, a duration challenge, a non-acceptance to that duration challenge. The the highway authority considering that non acceptance and responding to it, and then we've got the promoter's ability to um, to go back to it. You can see that once the highway authority goes back, it's not essential for the for the promoter to respond. Like life can continue if they don't respond, but you know it works better for everyone if we're um, recording our dates here. And recording our beliefs and what happened and you know the the issues we faced with the job it's better to refer back to at the time uh, and the other thing i just wanted to mention is there is that um guidance note out there that talks about how you you're not required to put in a um a change request to get your permit end date synced up with your reasonable period end date it's totally fine to have the two dates be different, but there may be some organizations for whatever reason that prefer to um, align those dates. And, and that's, a, that's a reasonable world as well, if that's where you, you need to live. Um, so there we go, Charlotte. I hope people have enjoyed that little insight into duration challenge non-acceptance. Now we're past the, uh, the 1st of April launch date for it. Thank you for that really helpful demonstration and we will catch you on the next episode of The Whole Story.